Hi everyone, um, we started in the last video to learn about a few tasks in R. Uh, for example, we learned how to print the current work directory uh, using the command um, or the function get work directory, get wd, and we explained that the work directory is where R looks for files or save uh, your files. And we recommended that for every project, for a any given project you should keep all you should save all files related to that project in the same folder and that's why we created a new folder called session one here i created this on my desktop and we're going to save everything related to this session into that folder and another function we learn is sit work directory so i want to tell r to go and look into that or to set that folder as the work directory. We also learned about different uh, functions and, um, uh, and packages and how to install a package and how to activate a package. We explained that every time you need to install the package only once, the first time you use it, and uh, but to activate the package, you need to do that to do that every R session. So in this uh, video, uh, we will learn more about different packages. So I thought to give you um, an idea about some important packages that we will be using uh, um, very often in this, um, in this course. So one of these packages, which if I'm not going to install because I already installed it, is tidyverse, which um, um, handle data. Um, also, there's another package with very nice package, which is ggplot2, uh, which is used to produce nice um, graphs. Um, also, there's another package, which is again is very important, we'll be using um, uh, frequently in this course, which is uh, Stargazer, which help us to produce nice looking tables. So you can install these packages if you haven't used R before, if this is your first time to use them. So you just need to highlight this line, then press uh, run. So you can execute this line or you can highlight these three lines together and then you execute them all together at once. Also, there's another way to install packages. If you have a group of packages to install, you could use the same command and use it in this way. So in this, in this example here, I'm uh, installing three packages at once. So we have, uh, so rather than having three different lines or three different um, commands or functions installed packages, rather than typing this three times, I could actually do this uh, only once. And this is the link where the repository where these packages come from. So this is just another way to, to install a number of packages uh, in, in one command line. Remember, so this is now a new R session uh, for, for on my computer, so I have to activate. So I, I'm, I'm, I, I didn't need to install again. I didn't need to install these packages again because I already have them. But in th this session, because this is a fresh session, this is a new session, I need um, to um, activate these packages. Um, and just to give you an idea about these uh, packages, again, Tidyverse, we know now it's it is used to handle data read excel which we'll uh, talk about later in this session which um, uh, is used to import uh, excel files if your data are saved in excel files so you can use read excel to import this data into r and we ggplot is uh, two is uh, to produce nice graphs and stargazer uh, uh, again is to produce uh, nice data so i'm going to activate these so remember uh, the uh, you need to install only uh, the package only once, but then you need to activate it every time you start uh, R. Okay, I have now um <coughs> some data saved in my um, work directory in in session one folder called uh, this is uh, this data come from uh, Pinworld tables, and it has different um, uh, macro um, data about real GDP, population, employment, um, about large number of, of countries since 1950. So as you can see, this is how uh, the data looks like. Um, you will find this data on Blackboard. Um, so you can download it or you can download it free uh, online. So it's available online. So if you search for 
uh, pin world tables you should be able to download this uh, this sheet anyway so let's now say this is the data we want to use for our analysis and we want to import this data into R so this is one thing we learned today is how to import data from Excel and uh, and how to um, just play with this uh, with this data so in 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 R everything is like an object which um, is saved in your environment here so all what I need to do here is let's say I'll give it a name so PWT for example and I will um, type the start read Excel read uh, ex, um, Excel and now this this function come from read Excel um, uh, package and all what I need to do now is to um, put the name of the um, the data set that or the Excel file I want to import so I'm going to get this from here copy and paste it's good practice to copy and paste rather than uh, typing the the name of your uh, data just to uh, avoid any um, uh, errors and then if you if you notice I could actually I could also tell if I have different uh, sheets let's open this again so my data here was um, uh, stored in the first sheet and it's called data but if I have uh, different uh, sheets in this uh, Excel file I could actually point R to which sheet to uh, import the data from by just typing comma here and type sheet uh, equal and then I put data uh, this is the name of the sheet I want to to import so this is the first step so now this will import the data my Excel data my Excel file uh, into uh, into R so what we see now here exactly so you see here now we have a new um, a new object uh, in uh, in our environment which is like a, a table so if you if you click on that it will open here and you can see that okay so what we have here we have columns these are the variables we have country code we have country uh, currency unit year real GDP uh, etc population uh, and 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 etc so in a here means um, uh, missing uh, some missing observations but you if you scroll down here you see like there's more and as you can see we have like more than 12,000 entries in this data uh, data set so one of the convenient ways to to deal with these objects is to um, is to work with data frames so I could actually change this table or tell um, R to convert this table BWT this object into a data frame so the command to do that or the function to do that is as data frame you see once you start typing the function R give you some uh, suggestions which in this case is the first one and all what I need to do is to type the name of the object that I want to um, uh, assign as a uh, data frame or convert to a data frame now if you see this now is a data frame if you're not sure about it you could actually say uh, there's another function called class so any object you want to to know what that object is or what you need to do is to type the, to use the function class class BWT and if I run this uh, line it will tell me here now this BWT is is a data uh, is a data frame okay so this is the first things to how to import your data from Excel file into uh, uh, into uh, uh, R 